the comedy. Have fun, don't leave the room, and don't leave the room. Prancing about the place in loincloths, topless. Right. Time to get something for supper. Though I might just, uh check. It's got some of your lot in it, Robin. <laughs> um, you've killed Oggio. Didn't happen. I was there. Tired of your clothes smelling of number twos? Then why not wash them in number ones? With a new easy refill system. Mm. Buy now while you last. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I won't go near this. Spectacle! Whether you're meeting your friends... No, we are ready. We run naked. <laughs> there. What, is that it? Here with more details on this rather unwelcome sequel is Bob Hale with the World War II report. Oh, oh thank you, sir. good cr yeah, I mean, it's Christmas. It's yeah, Christmas no, morning. You play a fine game, my mechanical friend, but I fear you have met your match. Go. Duke Duke. There. Interesting. And where, pray, is the toilet? Oh, she's a fancy flap, Jack. Huh? Miss Lady, your gas mask. Hi, heaven I have. Then we on a hanky and wrap it round your nose and mouth. Good. Everyone thinks they know the story of Dick Turpin's highway glory, but Who my is past that? is far more gory. He is. It is such a. You think life is one big antic? My profession is romantic. The light, it hurts me. Lord Byron, you frightened me. This is about Byron. Would you like a couple of flakes with that? Yes, sir. Yeah, of course you would. Ah, oh, another happy customer. <laughs> <laughs> All you need to do is follow my unique Apollo 11 weight loss program. Una! How long is this on for? I need to contact this Wikipedia. I'm putting a stop to this. What's wrong with you? We light a fire, beating Jerry. The big dog fights in the sky, outnumbered, that's why. Wait a lot. I'm about to be executed by Oliver Cromwell and his Puritans. I did not like where this is going. I'm just a lonely cave girl searching for a maid. Ooh. Get in touch with us at Witchfinders Direct. <laughs> We're the Georgian Navy. We've never been beat. A realman would never leave the table to have a wee-wee. You get a slave to bring the pot to you. But what if I can't go when everyone's watching? Um, try thinking about an aqueduct. What on earth? This week's scary story is a ghostly tale from Stuart times. The terror of Tedworth. And it soon became clear that he must have perished because his ghost started to haunt the mean magistrate. <laughs> At the first sign of a headache, get a totally unqualified colleague to knock a small hole into your skull using the sharp stone as a chisel and the blunt stone as a hammer. <laughs> you had to be there. Needed food and shelter, but everything. Let me pluck out my eyes. Never will I see such beauty. Kiss me. Sorry, did he just say kiss me? Kiss. <laughs> well. I might just kiss him anyway, just in case that's what he wants. I'm Marcus Asinius Crassus. No rich man can ever surpass us. This isn't just Stilton. This is Georgian Stilton. With maggots so thick, you'll need a spoon to scoop them up. I actually didn't like it. In a break from family tradition, Daigle and Elodia are to be married by a tramp. It's not very romantic, is it? And we may 